Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. You think I'd be here if I had any say in the matter? I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantel, Lieutenant. Is that correct? I have no recollection of that. Don't play games with us, Lieutenant. This is a serious situation, and your cooperation is required by law. We understand that your work requires a degree of secrecy, and I assure you nothing you say will leave this room. So please answer truthfully. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? I do not recall the events you described, Senator. Is that so? Our sources tell us that not only were you present at the time of the defections, you were in fact the one who discovered them. General Vander's reports on the incident were frustratingly vague, and you apparently share his need to conceal the truth. Please, we're only trying to discover the truth. If critical members of the Republic Armed Forces have defected, we'll need to take proper precautions. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? people you're referring to all that closely, sir. Lieutenant, you are lying to the Senate of the Galactic Republic. Please, no one wants this to turn into a full-blown investigation. If you just answer honestly now, we can avoid all of that. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantel should have seen the situation coming? I'm sorry, I'm not sure I know what you're referring to. He refers to the situation in which your entire squad defected to the Sith Empire. And then you failed to aid a Senate investigation into the matter. If we don't receive satisfactory answers now, we'll have no choice but to open a formal investigation. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. Davis said the Republic left Havoc to die on Ando Prime. Is that true? As I said, Lieutenant, that subject is classified. You needn't trouble yourself about it. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant.
It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. That blaster would have been a lot more useful in my hands than in a lab. We don't know where that weapon came from, Lieutenant. Relying on it for your missions would be risky at best. As for the Senators, they weren't very happy with your testimony. Useless and disrespectful were the words they used, actually. Glad to hear I made an impression. But it's a fine line we walk, Lieutenant. Making the Senate too angry could have dire consequences. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied with the defection, General? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Davis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive, but the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home, but in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. You left your own people to die out there? No. The Senate made their order very clear, and none of the Republic forces in the area were willing to disobey it. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jet Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. You don't want me to take Cardin out? If possible, I'd like you to capture Cardin alive. If he is involved in the defection, he could provide us with invaluable intelligence. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicars Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. Why do we tolerate these hostile groups here on Coruscant? Most areas are safe. These sectors are the last pockets of lawlessness, aftermath of the Imperial attack. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. If Cardin presents a threat, I can't promise I won't kill him. I understand. Just don't let your trigger finger get the better of you. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. <laughs>